Yeah, check it out. Oh no, it's gonna go early. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit. No! What am I gonna do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to the finale of our Master Mode Healer Adventure. And guys, I am excited to get into the action today. As you probably saw from the intro, it has been a bit of pain so far, but I am struggling to get through these pillars. We're slowly getting there, but it has been a tough grind so far. And I have noticed that our, our damage is starting to fall off quite a bit. So I'm wondering if there's any upgrades I've missed. I, I don't know, maybe I should have checked. I just went straight into it, but oh gosh, it's been pretty tough. But we've only got the solar pillar left, so maybe I can do it. This seems a little easier than the other ones. Oh, get away from me, crawl to Pete. Oh yeah, fly right into it, Happy. Well done. Oh gosh, no! Get away from me, crawl to Pete. I'm sorry! Oh gosh! Okay, I'll hide in the tunnel. There we go, we're away from the enemies. But yeah, guys, we've got the Moon Lord, we've got the Primordials coming up today. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat them, but I'm going to try my best. Oh gosh, I'm getting surrounded! No! Get away! No, crawl to Pete! Oh goodness! Oh gosh, okay, let's try some out. Oh no, my flactory has gone off. Things are getting desperate, people. There we go, let's have we got a heal. Oh my gosh, yeah, get my healing thing. Okay, there we go. Auras, there we go. Get my cursor thingy. No, not in the intro. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. So I thought I might have been missing some upgrades and I did miss some actually. So we actually got this pill popper. I meant to make it in the last episode, but I was missing one of the pieces. What was I missing? I was missing something. Oh, the temple fragments. Yeah, I had to go to the temple first, but that's kind of cool. It's not homing though, unfortunately. So what we can do, there's actually some upgrades we can make now. I forgot to make, where is it? I need to make these terrarium fragments, terrarium cores, uh, which are actually used. They use all of your bars. I think like the theme of it is it's like the power of terraria coming together. So yeah, we've actually got some upgrades we can make and there is some awesome stuff. Oh my gosh. So I guess the main event is there is a scythe we can make. So the ultimate healer scythe. Um, I don't even know what this does. I assume it's like the... Whoa! Oh my gosh! Look at that! <gasps> that thing is crazy! Holy moly! How was I not using this already? Wow! This is incredible! Okay, that's kind of cool. So, <laughs> I definitely thought our damage was a bit lacking. So, that should help out quite a bit. Now, we made this in the other episode. So, what we can actually do... I've been collecting all the pieces of the Unk Charm. Uh, just throughout our adventure, we've just been getting them from like random spots like Bezor, that was from Dungeon. Uh, so we can actually make the Unk Charm now, upgrade our uh, old shield that we were using to the Unk Shield, but we can actually make the Terrarium Defender. So I need these, all of these things. Uh, so let's go back to our Ancient Manipulator. So I haven't been using this much, but it actually gives you a bit of a boost when you get low on health, uh, which I think we might need. So that's kind of cool. Gives us a bit of regen, all that good stuff. Uh, now, the other thing is uh, we can actually get an upgrade to our wings, uh, which is kind of nice. So I've just been using Mothron wings, uh, but this might help out a bit. So I'm not quite sure what direction I want to go against the Moon Lord, if we even get there at this stage. And then the other thing, uh, I've got my Terra Spark boots. Again, I've just been upgrading these. If you go back, you can see I've been upgrading them through the adventure. Uh, we can make the particle things. I'm one shot. I'm one shot, guys. Oh my gosh, I need one more of these. Okay, there we go. I almost made enough. Where's the feet? Okay, let's upgrade our feet. Beautiful. There we go. So we've got those. I can swap my wings in. Ah, uh, lovely. Oh, they look kind of nice. I, I actually thought they were going to be a bit more flashy, but they're kind of cool. I like them. All right, so now we can get our shield on. I don't know. Oh, I might get rid of the cloak. I don't know. Or maybe my shield. I kind of like having dash, though. So let me know in the comments, what would you have swapped there? But I think we're geared up now. So we actually need, there's another boss I want to fight before the Moon Lord. Uh, and it is in the Sunken Seas, the Abyss. I can't remember what it's called. Let's go. Oh my gosh, people, we've made our way into the depths. I think my voice just cracked. And these are the things we're looking for. These aquatic uh, hallucinations, illuminations, I missed the name. But they give me this thing called the False Presence Debuff. Aquatic Steps? Is this what? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Oh, hello, Shark. You were picking on me before, but now I have like my super god tier scythe. 
And I can just destroy everything. So yeah, so what we need to do, I kind of like how it works. You need to find three of those black fishies and then the, the debuff like builds up. And then uh, the forgotten one, I think the boss is called, will spawn. So that's kind of cool. Did I just get another one? I think, I think that was one. I don't know. But I should probably start to open up an arena. Uh, because, yeah, I don't know how this boss is going to go. Oh, also, I noticed I got this thing called a crystal wave. And it makes your move speed go up. I didn't even know this was a thing. So I could have been going faster this whole time. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, guys. Do you find it with mods? Like, there's so much to learn. It's just a bit overwhelming sometimes. It's like, ah, how do you learn everything? It's crazy. But, uh, yeah. So I think all I need to do is keep mining this out. Get ready for a boss. It's kind of hard to make an arena underwater. I don't think I've really... Have I ever made an arena underwater? I don't think I have. It's kind of crazy. But, yeah, these mobs don't really stand much of a chance against me. But as for the boss, I can't really comment. So, anyway, I'll keep getting set up. And I'll wait for that third black fishy to turn up. Let's zoom ahead. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I killed something, but it is spawned. So let's get some things up. I don't think I'm ready. Oh goodness, where is it? Oh my gosh, there it is. It's like a turtle shellfish thingy. I don't even know. Let's see how our new scythe goes. Uh, it's not too bad, but I think the, the uh, gimmick with this boss is it's got armor on. So you kind of need to... What's it doing? What are you doing? No, what is it doing? It's doing some weird attack. Ah! I don't know. I think I have to try and get its like armor thingy off. So let's... Uh, okay, it was kind of good. It was like stuck on that thing. Oh no, it was just standing still. Okay. Or floating still. What do you do underwater when you're not moving? Bobbing? Moving up and down? I can't even know. Oh gosh. All right. This is actually working kind of nice. Well, wow, check this out. I can just go in circles around it. Yay. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. I should put my... Oh gosh, happy year. You're already taking damage. I should put my healing thing around this little station. There we go. So I can get heals while I'm doing Ring of Rosies around it. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, getting some attacks in. Okay, I think it has three forms. And one of the, the last form is like master mode only. So there you go. You can see its shells starting to come off. I think it, I think you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Just keep attacking, Happy. Yeah, there we go. It's like shells come off. Woo! Forgotten One breaks free from its ancient prison. Oh, that's crazy. So it should take more damage now. Wow, this scythe is incredible. Holy moly, guys. I thought I needed some more power. Yes, we did it. Woo, 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 woo. So good. Oh my gosh. This scythe is so cool. Ooh, so we got a nice and we got a nice relic. Can I actually put it down? Get away from me, snake. What are you doing? Ah! Okay, can I put my Oh, uh, yes, I can put my relic down underwater. That is so nice. Okay, I had a battle potion on. I might turn that off because enemies keep attacking me. There we go. So we've got our treasure bag. So the armor set I'm trying to get is called Whispering Armor. It's a chance from the bag. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom! I didn't get it. I got a I got a range weapon. And I got a flail. Oh, wow. That's a good flail. <gasps> Look how long it is. That's crazy. And I got a armor thingy. How does this work? I think you can turn into like a, a shell thing where you're pretty much invincible. But yeah, you can't do anything else. Oh, gosh. I need to fight another one of those bosses. I'll see if I can find one. Okay, maybe treasure bag number two's got it. Oh, gosh. This is going to take all day, isn't it? Ooh, three, two, one, boom. Oh, yes, I got it. Woo, woo, woo. The whispering armor. Oh, wow. This is so cool. <gasps> this is so awesome here. Let's just get above the ground so we can see it properly. Ah, oh, there we go. Back up on the surface. Very nice indeed. So let's see what this armor does. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. So let's see. 156.70. And then we equip this. And oh, my gosh. It's making tentacles come out. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting evil. And now 164.81. Okay, is that more? Yeah, it's more damage. Okay, so it makes my damage go higher. Okay, that's kind of cool. It probably takes my defense down a bit. So I'm getting more damage at the cost of losing defense. More glass cannon. Oh, also with this uh, thingy, it turns you into a shell. So I think this is more multiplayer. So it pretty much makes you invincible. You can like barely move while it's active. Uh, but yeah, then like enemies can't attack you. So yeah, very cool multiplayer item. Uh, and then we got like a harp thingy. Ooh, that's kind of nice. And yeah, we got that cool flail thing as well. But anyway, guys, it's almost Moon Lord time. Let's get ready for it. Oh my gosh, I'm still getting used to these crazy tentacle things. But anyway, guys, I've been getting my arena ready for the Moon Lord battle. And I'm not kind of sure like what sort of arena I'm going to need. I, I'm a little concerned as much as our scythe is awesome. I'm a little concerned about uh, if I can get close enough to the Moon Lord itself. So 
All I've been doing is I'm just making a standard platforms. I don't know if I need asphalt or not. And then what I'm doing is you might notice I've taken my pets off because I need more buff slots. It's getting a bit out of control. And then what I'm doing is I'm just making a nice runway like this. And then I'm placing these Arena Masters Braziers down. Uh, if you're not sure, these are a really nice uh, Thorium item. I could upgrade it, but I'll see if I need to. And yeah, they don't need much, and they just combine a lot of arena buffs into one, uh, which is pretty sweet. So they give you, like, Star in a Bottle, Heart Lamp, and Honey, uh, which is, like, super, super useful. Um, so yeah, so I'm just getting a nice long runway, and then we've got our spawn point, and yeah, we're just gonna, like, hope for the best. But we've still got our Mind Melter, we've got our Wild Umbra, which is he uh, homing, and then we've even got our Hammer, which might be pretty good for the hands and the eye, so... I'm kind of, I'm kind of confident. We've got plenty of damage. I've got my, like, cursor debuffs. We've got our debuff weapon. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'll just keep setting this up. We'll finish the last pillar. And then it's Moon Lord time. Let's go. Oh, my gosh, guys. This scythe is so good. Holy moly. I wish I had this for the other pillars. I, like, struggled through with my other weapons. But I could have just used the beautiful scythe. Oh, my goodness. I am concerned, though. I don't think it's going to be as good against the Moon Lord. Uh, but we will see how we go. Oh, yes, another achievement. Okay, let's make sure we get all those yummy fragments. And let's get back. Oh, speaking of me being silly, I just noticed my health still isn't max. So I had to go through the jungle again. Get those extra life roots that I was missing. Okay, now we're ready. Let's refresh our buffs and wait for this Moon Lord business. Holy moly, guys. Oh, I hope we can win. Oh my gosh, here we go. It is boss time. Wow. Okay, so as I expected, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with the Moon Lord with my scythe. It looks like the... Uh, I'm not fast enough. Can I get the eye? Okay, it looks like I might be able to get the forehead eye with it. Okay, that's kind of fun. And I got hit by a phantasmal death ray. Nice one, Happy. Oh, gosh. No, I don't know if the size going to work. Maybe if I had an asphalt bridge. Okay, it looks like our hammer is actually doing pretty nice. Check it out. I also noticed the cool thing about the little tentacles that are coming out. They actually heal me, which is pretty awesome. Okay, here comes Death Ray. Beautiful. Flying over that. Always nice. Okay, yeah, it looks like our hammer's going to be pretty sweet here. Although we should try our other... Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ouch, ouch, ouch. No, one more... Da oh, yeah, that kills me, doesn't it? Oh, gosh. I shouldn't be using weapons that hurt me. Oh, does that hurt me too? Oh, everything's hurting me. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. What am I doing? Okay, where's the Death Ray? Where's the Death Ray? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... All right. Okay, don't use weapons that kill you and use the hammer. I think that might be the strategy here. I don't think my auras are going to be that useful. No! Ah, my phylactery's already gone off. I think the cooldown on it's like five years, so... I don't think that's going to be much more help. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Flying up over the eye. Such a shame I can't use my scythe properly. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I think Asphalt Bridge might be the answer with that one. I'll, I'll recast my healing aura. You never know. It might just be doing like little bits of healing as I run back through. Okay, got to heal off. Got to heal off. I think I saw the eye open. Just in the corner of my eye. Yeah, it did open. Ooh, okay, let's keep flying up. I think this is why I wanted to make those wings too. Because of the, um, the extra flight time. Just really useful because I haven't got a rod of discord. So, yeah, very nice. Okay, this hammer is actually working really nicely indeed. I guess it is a bit melee. Let's see if we can get some of our scythe in here. Yeah, check it out. Oh, no. It's going to go early. Oh, no. I'm going to get hit. No. What am I going to do? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, Moon Lord, please. <laughs> yeah, okay, you dumb Moon Lord. You want a rematch, you're going to get it. So what we've done, guys, is I put down some asphalt. I just went to the... Uh, what's it what's it name? The Steampunker. And got a Blendomatic, so that was pretty sweet. And I was trying to get some uh, some scythe attacks in. Oh my gosh, I think I need to start popping these hand eyes. Ah, uh, yeah, so it just gives me a nice burst of speed. Okay, we've got to heal off. Oh, I think I'll hold on on opening the eyes. I really... Oh, I've flown too early again. I've flown too early. Stop doing it, Happy. Okay, oh, beautiful. Uh, another thing I realized, when we were in the dungeon, I'm so silly. I don't know how I survive day to day. We, we got the Master Ninja gear when I was in the dungeon, and I never equipped it. I'm like, whoa, do I still need my Shield of Cthulhu? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have been having that and having the increased dodge chance. So, oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, I got so lucky then. Woo! All right, did I get the forehead eye out? Oh, I, yes, okay, we got it. Beautiful. All right, so we need to get these eyes out ASAP. There we go. So the core is open. And the reason I put the... Um, actually, I might be able to use my scythe now. Oh no, I'm taking damage. Woo! 
Can I even get near the core? Oh my gosh. All right. Dash away, happy. All right. How long off your heal? Nine seconds. Okay. I'm just going to put some distance. I just need to get some healing up. All right. There we go. Beautiful. This is a, this is not a race, people. It's an endurance race. Ooh. It's not a race. And then I call it a race. Yeah. I, the core, the scythe doesn't really uh, work because it keeps flying away from it. Ah. All right. Is the hammer going to reach? Yeah, it's kind of reaching. Okay, that's kind of cool. And I'll get that. I don't know if this debuffy thing works on the core, but I'm going to... Oh, I got hit. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, no! Oh my gosh! Those true eyes of Cthulhu are s destroying me. I might need to go around in circles, I think. Yeah, maybe a bit of that. Okay, let's back off again. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh my gosh. I hope my phylactery hasn't gone off. Ooh, okay. Oh no. Uh, I can't stay too close to them. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should try some of my pill popper. Oh, that's not homing, so... Woo! Okay. Did no! Oh, I forgot it does death rays. Oh, gosh. Keep moving, Happy. Keep moving. Woo! My goodness. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. I think what I might need to do is just keep backing off, heal off. Oh, I should use maybe some of my healing spell. Okay, there we go. So I can back off. I can heal. And then... Oh, goodness. It's so dangerous when I go close to it. Woo! Ouch, 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 ouch! <gasps> Oh gosh, this might take a while. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, it's getting lower. It's getting lower. It's down to like 10,000. Oh my gosh, okay. Are we going to do it? Are we going to beat the Moon Lord? Come on, come on, come on. We can do this. Woo, go down, you crazy Moon Lord. Yes. Woo, 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 woo. We did it. Healer class has defeated the Moon Lord. Oh my goodness. With the melee weapon. No. <laughs> oh, it's still a healer weapon. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was so hard. Holy moly. Okay, where is my little safety box? Let's get back to safety, people. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow, that was crazy. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, we're getting the credits. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, let's see. Are there any healer things we can get from the Moon Lord? Well, we're about to find out. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, my gosh. I got heaps of stuff. Oh, we got, uh, a, I think it's like a supporter set. We got suspicious looking tentacles, so we got a nice pet. Uh, we got lunar portal stuff, uh, so, and we got portal gun. Got some luminite, which is going to be very useful. Uh, we can actually make another healer set. I'm not sure if we'll need it for the primordials, uh, but we'll give it a go. I'll, I'll craft it and we'll have a look. And uh, yeah, we got the starboard. I don't know if that's going to be an upgrade or not. But uh, anyway, guys, we got the Moon Lord down. Now there's only one boss to go. Oh, gosh, guys. I can't believe we beat the Moon Lord with a Master Mode healer. That is so exciting. And I'm kind of happy, too, because I mostly had movement accessories and defensive ones. And we just had a ton of critical strike chance, uh, which I think has helped a lot to make up for the lower damage of this class. Although it still does a fair bit of damage. Now, Full disclosure, guys, I only I crafted my Luminite bars and I didn't have enough to make all the cool healer stuff. So I just went into my all item world. I'm not running through the pillars again. I don't think anyone wants to see that. So I grabbed some extra. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make the second last healer armor. So this is the Celestial armor. And I think this one might be a little multiplayer focus. But I thought we can still check it out. Uh, the other thing I wanted to craft was the wings. And I think this is kind of cool. They're very, like, themed with Holly, like, angelic and all that. Although she's a bit more corrupted. And maybe we can make... I think these are all healery things, but let's make one anyway. Let's make this celestial wand. So, let's get our armor on. Let's get our new wings. And let's check out... What is this? Oh, wow! Holy moly, I've got a holy aura. I've got, like, projectiles going everywhere. This is crazy. Wow, this is cool. But uh, I think, um... I think this is, oh, the armor key ability gives me that holy aura. And it gives us, what is it, 150, it gives us increased damage, increased damage reduction, defense, life recovery. But it's only for allies. Everything's for allies, oh my goodness. <sighs> but hey, it's still good. Good defense, all that good stuff. So let's actually equip our uh, slithering thing again. Let's have a look at it there. No, go away, tentacles. I want to have a look. Wow, it looks kind of cool, though. I love the sprite work on these um, healer sets. This is very nice. Uh, actually, while we're at it, I want to also see what our um, our whispering armor looks like. There we go. Let's put that on. Wow, that looks cool, too. These are very nice armor sets. So I think what we'll do, guys, we need to make our crafting item for the primordials. But I know I said this is finale, but looking at the time, I don't... I think we've still got to fight it and... I might make a few of these, actually. They're fairly cheap to craft. 
Uh, I don't think I'm going to beat it first shot or even second or third. And then we also have to look at all the healer stuff we get from it and try out all the stuff. So I think we'll do this finale over two parts if that's okay with everyone. I don't want to rush it. I want to, you know, I want to give thanks to everyone that supported this series and not just rush an ending quickly. So yeah, so thank you so much, guys. We'll do the finale part two tomorrow. I'm looking forward to the uh, the primordials battle. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and also make sure you vote for our next series. That will be starting right after this one. So very excited to see what you guys vote for. And here's the most important part as always. You will stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya!